This week's question is brought to you by a groovy internet user who asked me, can you do an episode about beards? And I said, yes. I didn't know it, but I've been waiting for that question my whole life. Are you ready? Because beards are awesome. So let's start with the basics. Facial hair in men is a secondary sex characteristic, meaning that it develops as men reach sexual maturity, along with increases in height and deepening of the voice and other things. So the mechanism here, as it is with most secondary sex characteristics, is a stimulatory hormone secreted by our pituitary gland when we reach puberty. In men, that primary hormone is testosterone. So that's the immediate cause, but what about the why? What is the point of beards? Biologists and anthropologists have come to the conclusion that facial hair most probably plays a role in sexual selection. In other words, the texture, the color, the length, the bushiness of a man's beard tells a woman a lot about the man. How much testosterone he has, how old he is, what's his social status. You know the old saying, you can tell a man by his beard. It's also been hypothesized that in olden times when shaving and facial grooming was not yet a thing, a man's beard protected his face from blows during a fist fight or covered up any disfiguration that was accumulated in altercations in the past. Facial hair, like many outward characteristics of humans, is also very dependent on culture. How you wear your beard is influenced by where you come from. In terms of who has what kind and in what amount, that's completely up to genetics. The texture of the hair, the size of the follicles, where the hair comes out through the skin, how much testosterone is secreted by one's pituitary gland, and when it does so, is completely determined by the genes you've inherited from your parents, 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 and all the way back for forever. The difference in expression or even presence of certain genes, including those that control facial hair growth, are due to mutations that your genes have accumulated along the way until they came to you. While we're on the subject of hair and faces in men, there's a hilarious recent study that's been done that's proven what kind of facial hair is most attractive to women. The conclusion? Scruff, apparently. Heavy scruff is the most attractive, Exhibit A. I've been really trying. The study concluded that facial hair indicated socio-sexual status and therefore determined how attractive a man was to a woman. My favorite line from the study, and I quote, Our findings confirm that beardedness affects judgments of socio-sexual attributes and suggest that an intermediate level of beardedness is most attractive. The study also determined that men with more full beards were perceived as being more able to take care of offspring. This is possibly because hair, like nails and other things in our bodies, don't grow as fast if we're malnourished or under stress. So, a man with a full beard is able to feed himself and others? So, there you have it, folks. Facial hair is a socio-sexual indicator. It's controlled by your genes. And the moral of the story, scruff is sexy. Please submit more questions. We've got Facebook, we've got Twitter, Tumblr, and if you want to check out some fun articles, here's the real blog. Ask me questions down in the comments below in the little doobly-doo. That's where my sources are and the link to the article in case you're interested in a little light reading about facial hair and sexiness. For now, live long and may your beardedness prosper. I will see you next time. Don't forget to pack your lunchbox. Ba -da 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 -da